names and remembering what those works are like and sharing that year's experience with this many people. I'm so excited by everyone's work and I think more than anything that's been the most valuable thing to feel like you're in this all together and and just have such a personal connection with everyone's work and have lived with it for a year and to have collaborated with some people as well. It's just been really amazing. Before I was afraid of putting faces in my work for some reason or like things you could identify with reality but now I feel like that's such a part of my work that it somehow needs to be mixed with my imagination for it to become part of me so now my work is just like a, a mix between the two which it wasn't which it wasn't before it's been a bit of a crazy experience but a really really good one um, yeah I think you kind of come in and you feel like you have to change everything about your work and then you realise that you actually just need to take the best advice and really take it in and soak it in and then further down the line it comes in, in handy. I think you get quite soaked into the detail. I didn't start drawing like that. I, I was quite loose when I first started really focusing on drawing as a part of my practice but I think it's just sort of it's very seductive and the minute you get, you get into it you get more and more and more involved and you forget about the whole so much it's in a in that way it's very different from painting you're not thinking about how that's got to correlate to that you're just growing out from a certain point so I think yeah the, the, the detail is sort of it's important but it's it's completely immersive the person who has expanded my whole life uh, is a tutor here and uh, his courses have been extremely difficult because you're asking questions like why can't I draw as well as Michelangelo? And why can't I draw as well as I could when I was three years old? And you're asking that question, both those questions, to yourself uh, constantly. And it's a great accolade to this school and to the work of everybody here, students and staff, that it has become one of the very, very rare institutions to receive um, Royal Imprimata. The opportunity to thank the students and the staff of this amazing school for everything they have done to make this incredible collective group of students come through from, as Catherine said, it's a little bit like the Charlie Chaplin film where you go in one door of a bus and come out the other. You, you, you come in as Prince of Wales' uh, students and you're going out as Royal Drawing School students.